So there is a lot of buzz going around YouTube about the Cheetah Man 2 NES project. The owner of Cheetah Man is trying to get people to donate to the project. He apparently wants to complete the game to finish it. And AVGN and Pat the NES Punk have endorsed it. As of this recording, there has been over $24,000 in donations. So, obviously there is a lot of support for it, but of course there is also a lot of negative backlash going on. Things like, oh, it's a scam to... There's already completed games on the internet to... I can make my own version of Cheetah Man on, on a emulator or on a mod. Let's put aside the hatred for HVGN, the jaded native attitudes, and all the other preconceived beliefs of what you think a scam is for a few minutes. Like the AVGN movie, it's impossible to judge the project until we can see the finished product, or until we find out that there isn't one, or until we, we get the finished product and it turns out to be worse than what you can find on the internet. So if you did not donate to the cause, then if you're not rich enough or geeky enough or just plain crazy enough to donate $60 or more to this project, then why spend so much time bitching about it? Because you want to be the first guy on YouTube to say, Oh, it's a scam. You know what? Grow the fuck up, you attention whores. And put some real critical thought into the into into these things before you rant about them. Let's just assume for the sake of argument that this Cheetah Man project is not only 100% legit, but it promises the real authentic Cheetah Man experience, which by the way they're trying to sell you on anyway. They're trying to sell you the fact that this is the authentic, the original Cheetah Man experience, the way they envisioned it. It's one, or at least something, or at least it's a, a Cheetah Man experience that you can't find on the internet. It's something you can't find on a ROM. So if you were rich enough or geeky enough or crazy enough to invest in this project, would you do it? Personally, you know, I, I, I spend $60 on games. I'm not super rich, but you know, I have some money laying around. And I have a pretty good collection of games from the NES all the way up to the Xbox 360. So yeah, I'm geeky enough. And so I'm, I just might be playing crazy enough to want to donate. But would I still do it? The answer is, well, no. I still would not do it. And here's the real reason why I would not do it. Cheetah Man 2 is a masterpiece of shit. Messing with a masterpiece even if it's a masterpiece of shit, is not going to make it better. It is not going to make it better. In fact, it might actually make it worse. Just look no further than the original Star Wars movies, a masterpiece of something that's good. Not only did George Lucas ruin it with the last three Star Wars films, he, of course, went back and enhanced the, the original movies, by changing the music and replacing old scenes with new scenes with CGI that doesn't make the story any better than it already is. In fact, looking, trying to watch the movies now, the remakes, it feels awkward and out of place. And that's what Greg Pabich, the owner of the Cheetah Man games, that's what AVGN, that's what Pat the Indianist Punk, that's what they're, that's what they're trying to do they are all George Lucas's trying to enhance a game that does not need to be enhanced by trying to make an official, so to speak, an official complete version of the game. Cheetah Man 2 is unique. It is unique for the simple fact that you can't even complete, you can't even finish a game that is so goddamn bad. You, that's what stands out. That's what makes the Cheetah Man 2 stand out from all the other shitty games. If I'm the owner of the Cheetah Man games, I wouldn't try to finish it. 
I would just give back the money and I would let gamers appreciate it for the shitty masterpiece that it already is. AVGN wants them to shit the turd. I say don't shit the turd. Again, if I was the owner of the Cheetah Man, Man Games, I would keep that turd halfway up my ass and show it off to people as the guy that has a turd halfway up my ass. Because unlike other shitty gaming companies, I'm the I would be the rare breed that made a turd that I can't even, I, that I cannot even shit out all the way. If these guys do shit the turd, then it's just another shitty video game.